we have a reputation for doing the sizing properly and looking at like manual D or, or on the equipment selection stuff to make sure it's really getting the rating that they think they're buying. Equipment's only going to get you so far. You know, you can buy a Ferrari, but if you live on a gravel road, it's not going to perform yeah. the way you want to perform. So, well, I mean, that's a great point because, you know, a lot of people think that the HVAC equipment is the system. That furnace or that air conditioner is the system, but they're missing the other half of the system, which is the ductwork. And if the ductwork's not sized properly and moving the air properly, they're never going to get the performance that they thought they were going to. But yeah, I went into one a week or two ago where they're going to do an addition. And the question is, is they just put it in a new system. Can it handle this addition? And right. I went and looked at this thing and it's like a four ton machine and it might have had two tons of duct on it, maybe. You know, in the old t days when you didn't have these expansion valves, those systems would freeze up and they'd be problems like out of the gate. And it seems like now with the, the different evaporator coils and metering devices that these systems are a little more kind of can, can tolerate that stuff, but you're not getting the capacity out of them. So they're not getting what they paid for.